Today I am here at my storage facility in California and I'm going to be doing a quick video here on this rather interesting uh, piece of equipment that I've been storing back here for about seven years or so. This is a Roland Atelier 1890S and I picked this up in 2011 and the story behind it is rather interesting. Back in 2011, which was a long time ago to me, I walked into an organ store and they told me that there was a Roland Atelier Festival, which was a big fancy competition that was going to be held in about four months or so. And I thought that sounded really cool, but there were two issues. I didn't have a Roland Atelier organ, and I didn't even know how to play the organ. So for about four months, I, uh, I bought an organ, and I practiced on a piece for the competition for about four months. And then I entered the regional competition, and I actually won the regional competition. From the regional competition, I was scheduled to go on to the national competition, which I did. It was in Vegas. That was so much fun. There's videos on my channel of all this. If you want to go in the comment section, I will link those down there. So I went to Vegas. I actually won the national competition as well. There was supposed to be an international, but that was canceled because reasons. And I would have gone back the next year, but I wasn't able to because since I won the national, they said that winners of the national couldn't compete again in the next year. So I was like, eh, why? What for? But I kept the organ because it's actually really cool. And today I'm going to be doing a quick demo video of the organ. I'm going to show you some of what it can do. It can do a lot, and it's pretty cool. I had a follower on my YouTube channel of a few days ago, I think, uh, request essentially that I do videos on modern uh, digital organs as well as the vintage analog, like Hammond V3 organs and stuff like that. So today, let's do a quick little review and demo of the Roland Atelier. It's got the fancy roll top lid. You turn it on by pushing a button. It's a lot more simple than the, uh, the Hammond organs that have the run switch and the start switch and all that. As you can see, it's got these nice lights here. There's also lights up here to light up the music desk, so if you're using it at night, it's pretty great. And you got this nice big touchscreen which has all kinds of menus. You can go into the sound, you can choose one for upper, lower, the pedal board, all that kind of stuff. It's really great. And I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on what the, uh, the first default sound that it boots up to is. Uh. <laughs> sound that it boots up to. It's a uh, little, it's very nice sounding uh, type of organ. You have all kinds of different sounds here. One thing I like about this is there's actually a damper pedal down here uh, in the, uh, the cavity here where the uh, expression pedal is. There's also a damper pedal. So you can do different things with this. So I'm, I'm not even touching anything right now and it's still holding those notes. On organ sounds it holds the notes indefinitely on something like a piano. I believe there would be, yeah, it decays. Um, there's all kinds of cool sounds it can do. So there's different organs. Those ones are kind of like a B3. These ones kind of are too. There's pipe organ sounds. There's also an alternate button you can hit to get a different type of the sound. And I'm not going to go through everything, but there's all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, you have a symphonic bank over here that's got strings. Choir, French horn, stuff like that. What's cool is when you, you can have three different sounds playing at once on a single manual, and then with these buttons here, you can adjust the level. And so you could have like an organ, uh, if I turn that on, you could have like an organ with a choir with maybe vibraphone. All at once. And you could turn like the vibes all the way up. So the organ and the choir in the background, it's, you have a lot of control over the sound, which is very nice. And uh, it's really cool. You've got accordion. Harmonica, marimba, the, uh, the sounds of a marimba on any keyboard I've ever found are never as cool as the real thing. Vibes, it's a harp, harp's a chord. There's all kinds of cool stuff on here. You also have uh, pedals as well, it's your standard uh, 25 foot pedals. What's interesting is when you first boot it up, they're set to like monophonic mode, so you can only play one note at a time. So if I play the low C here, and I play this high E, it only plays the high E, and when I let go of the high E, it jumps down to low C. There's a way to adjust that in the menu somewhere, but for now, you're jumping between notes. It's pretty cool though. You've got contrabass, which sounds pretty cool. There's also a really neat uh, pipe organ somewhere, if I can get that. There's a way to make it 
have a really cool pipe organ sound. There's also a bunch of preset banks here that you can set. There's a little lever on the side of the expression pedal you can kick and it will just automatically flip through them when you hit it, which is pretty cool. So when you're playing a song and if you watch the uh, the videos I did years and years ago at the competition, I'm actually using these. So I'll have like for one section of the song, I'll have one sound bank and then when I go to the next section, I'll kick it and it will completely change the way the song sounds and it'll even have a different rhythm and everything. There's drum beats on here too, you know. There's all kinds of neat stuff. You can do. You can hit a button, and I think it'll do like a fill. I think. Yeah, it'll do a fill when you hit a button, which is kind of cool. I had a lot of fun with that years and years ago. Um, so these are all old presets I had. This one over here I think is nice. It's got a. It's got a pan flute up here. There's a way in the menu to make the sounds be expressive as well. Like normally on an organ when you play the sound quietly, it plays at one level. When you play it loudly, it plays at the same level. Let me get to uh, an organ sound here to actually demonstrate that. Playing at any level doesn't change it. And on this organ, even when you select a sound that should do that, like a piano, it still doesn't do that. But there's a way in the menu to make it be expressive so then you can... Expression. And there's all kinds of cool things that the organ to do, uh, can do. There's, there's lots of cool sounds on it that I think you will be uh, seeing featured in my videos at the studio at some point in the future. So if that sounds interesting to you, uh, you can think about subscribing, you can check out my other content. Make sure to check out those old videos, they're kind of interesting, uh, of the, uh, the Roland competition from 2011. And uh, if you like my content, you can think about subscribing, and if you do, thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Although the lights look super cool.